Guys, we are out in Team Tees and I am having tongue for the first time. Looks like real meat. So by in there is it smoke? So it's all with you as well. Bring your Pama vibes with tuna. Not bad, tastes like tuna. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Ikamala Mutemsi for those of you who don't know me um, Pleasure having you here I hope you like it and you stay Please subscribe, please like, please share, please comment um, Yeah, so today guys I just felt like a nice hearty meal and decided to drive out to a so I usually get like my hearty meats and stuff from spa but then um, because I was in Eastgate Mall, I decided to pop into Checkers. I couldn't find anything, went to a food lovers and um, I actually went there to pick up pop trotters. But then um, as I was picking those up, also they didn't have the ready packed ones. So I had to go to the butchery section. So when I went there, I saw oxtail and I was like, I've never, ever, ever, ever tried the oxtail in my household. <laughs> we always have like the oxtail. I think I've had it like twice or three times and it's at restaurants. I've never had it like in, I've never cooked um, oxtail in my house. So I decided let me get it. And as I was busy Googling recipes and stuff, I remembered I had the Lazy Makoti's Guide to the Kitchen. Yes, this one. Lazy Makoti's Guide to the Kitchen. I quickly paged through that and I found an oxtail stew um, recipe, which um, when I checked, I have, these are like pantry staples that are required to make this recipe. So I'm going to make it with you guys. I. I am craving dumpling, but then because of the time, it's five minutes past 7 p.m. at the moment. <laughs> um, it's five minutes past 7 p.m. at the moment, so I'm definitely not gonna be able to make dumpling, but then I'll just make brown rice with the oxtail. So I'll take you through it, and I hope you enjoy this one. Okay, so I am first going to prepare rice. Brown rice, chuck it in there. I am usually not too sure about the like how much is required, but then at the moment it's just my husband and I, so I just did like one and just over a half. Um, yeah, I'll bring the this to the boil whilst I prepare the oxtail in the pressure cooker. So I am required to add salt, salt, pepper, So this is to brown the meat. So this is to help with browning the meat. And now for the pressure cooker, I need to, for the pressure cooker, I need to put the setting on saute number five and then add oil guys oil is so expensive these days oil is expensive 
expensive. I'm going to wait for the oil to heat up and then um, brown my meat. So now to grind the meat, to brown the meat. So what I like about this process is that it, it what I've noticed it does it helps with the the meat keeps like it stays intact it stays intact it also helps with the flavors the meat is flavorful flavorful at the end of this um, process So for stews, I learned from my brother that when um, chopping your 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 veggies, don't make them too small. Um, chunks are a good size because um, when cut small, they disappear. The veggies disappear in your stew. So it's best to do them in chunks so that even after the cooking process you can still see them. <laughs> the recipe calls for two tomatoes. I only have one. So I am going to add flavor using the using tomato paste. I usually remove the skin of, of um, tomatoes, but today is a different day. <laughs> Let me just wash the skin. Let's see how it does. Okay, so I think my oxtail is reasonably brown now. So what I'm going to do is transfer it into my bowl okay. and in the same in the same going to add my onion okay, so I'm going to fry the onion till soft okay so I think my onion and garlic is um, soft enough. I'm going to add my oop, carrot. The recipe calls for bay leaves as well as thyme. I have mixed um, mixed uh, mixed mixed herbs, so that's what I'm going to use. One tablespoon of sugar. my tomato and then I'm going to add tomato paste in there just a little bit because I already have um, tomato mix 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 and let that simmer a bit Mix that, let it simmer a bit, and then another motivating factor of this um, recipe 
is wine. So we were gifted this wine a while back, but we're not really drinkers of wine, Ohabi and I. So I thought I'd find a recipe for it, which is today's. So I'm just quickly going to ask him to open it for me and we're going to use that. So what's left now is for me to add stock. I have one stock beef stock cube and then we're going to use um, this red one as well. Okay guys, so our mix has Simmered nicely. I'm going to add back the oxtail. There it is. With all its juices. <laughs> no flavor must go. Okay, and now that um, my meat looks like that, oops, I'm going to add um, one stock cube, it's just normal um, beef stock, I've dissolved it in water. The recipe calls for one and a half cup of wine, which is a lot according to me, this is a lot guys. If we get drunk, you know why. <laughs> so there it goes. First time I cook with alcohol. First time I make um, oxtail guami. So let's see how that goes. It already smells of um, thingy, alcohol. I let this, so I'll close this up and um, pressure cook it for like my usual setting being the um 40 minutes yeah i leave it in the pressure cooker for 40 minutes and test it out to see if it's falling off the bone or what but i'll show you guys how it goes so guys our stew is ready looks yum I think it burnt a bit there because I, I sauteed it a lot, quite a lot, but yeah, okay. So that is done and then now for the rice. So I learnt this trick from Upal a cousin of mine um, when I saw her dish up for her hubby um, and then mm. Okay guys, so this is what the food turned out looking. Yum, yum, yum. Thank you for tuning in. I'm going to dig in with my hubby. Okay. It's like rain.